Welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for August 2024. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in just three minutes. All right, we'll start with .NET 9. We're up to preview seven now as we're getting close to the November release. A lot of just, just little nice API improvements, uh, bug fixes, stuff like that. Uh, we have an interesting change here in .NET 9, which is the removal of binary formatter. So a great post from Immo here explaining why it was removed, how you can continue to still use it if you need to via an unsupported NuGet package, migration op options, et cetera. Moving on to AI, we've got a couple of SDK updates here. First of all, the Azure AI Inference SDK, allowing access to a lot of Azure models, as well as the Pinecone SDK, offering access to the Pinecone Vector Database. Moving on to videos for AI, we've got a great video series here. Uh, this is the .NET Comp Focus on AI, some amazing sessions here. Uh, we've also got an ongoing video series, the Semantic Kernel Let's Learn events. So we've got the English one. Uh, we've also got uh, Korean and Mandarin and other languages rolling out through this month. Uh, moving on to Aspire, we have the update for Aspi .NET Aspire uh, 8.2. So one of the big things here is just a rename. Uh, we found that the term components was a little confusing and overloaded in the .NET world. And so that has been renamed to integrations in .NET Aspire 8.2. Uh, I actually wrote a blog post here. This is on how and why to add .NET Aspire to an existing application, explaining some of the developer features you get from using Aspire in your existing apps. Uh, we also have all the videos for our .NET Aspire uh, Developers Day in July. Those are all available for on-demand viewing now. Uh, moving on to tools, we've got the first preview of Visual Studio 2022 with .NET 9 installed. And we also have a great update for the C Sharp Developer Kit. This includes both better Razor uh, support as well as a project status, uh, project configurations, debug options, and drag and drop. In community, we have the release of the .NET Community Toolkit 8.3. Uh, this has better .NET 8 support and uh, native AOT. And finally, a little bonus feature since you stuck around is the update for the Visual Studio blog. We've got some nice little features in here. It's uh, more responsive, easier to read, and a nice handy table of contents. That wraps it up for this month. All the links are in the description below.